Jeremy, I'm sure you have given a lot of tips for job seekers over your career, but I want to ask you in terms of interview preparation, what specific tips you have for job seekers to be prepared for the phone interview and then face-to-face -face interview? Okay, interview preparation. The, the key thing that I would suggest is create yourself what I would call guideposts. What I mean by that is when you go into an interview, you don't know what questions the interviewer is going to ask you. There's behavioral-based interviewing, there's situational interviewing, there's just very casual interviewing. There's all sorts of questions that can come at you. So trying to anticipate the questions that are gonna be asked of you, I think is, those, those books that have 101 interview questions, I wouldn't bother. What, what I would do is sit down with a pen and paper and think of things that, think about your greatest accomplishments in your career so far and make a list of them. Think about the greatest challenges that you've had in your career and make a list of them. Think about some of the people that you respected the most that you've worked with. These are the guideposts. So if you have an inventory of accomplishments that are already in your mind at the tip of your tongue, and even if you brought them in on a piece of paper with you, for you to scan, there's no reason you couldn't do that in an interview. You can just, because if your mind kind of wanders while you, you get that question, if you have that cue that says, you know, an ABC company accomplished this, you could point to that and elaborate on it to answer whatever the question is that they're asking you. You're not gonna be able to anticipate every specific question, but if you think through the examples and experiences that you've had, you'll be able to take those, those inventory of experiences and use them to answer the myriad of questions that could come at you. And so I think that's probably the most valuable thing because when you, if you ever think back to where you spoke the most comfortably about something, it's when you know what you're talking about. If you have to try and make something up or remember something on the spot, you can't speak with it with the same authority and, and color and emphasis and, 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 what, and what have you throughout that process. So having those guideposts will really, really help calm the nerves and keep you on point. Bring it in with you. There's nothing that says you can't have it in a book. Just have it sitting in there, a piece of paper with you know 15 or 10 different things that, that you've experienced over the course of your career. And also be prepared. Do your research about the company. Do your research about who are you interviewing, so that as we've discussed familiarity, you can ask questions like we both went to BCIT or we went to this or we both like dogs or cats. You know, something to break the ice and always ask the questions. What do you think, what question should they ask at the end? Do you have any go-to question that it's good to hear? Yeah, I, I would be asked, so what, what should I expect working here? Mm. What, and if you're working with the, you know, you're interviewing with, say it's a final interview, and you're interviewing with the person you're actually going to work for, ask them what it's like to work for them. What's, mm. what's their approach to leadership? What's their approach to management? What type of people do they want on their team? How would you help them? I'm throwing a lot of things out there, but how would you help them accomplish what they need to accomplish in their role as the director of whatever they do or the manager of whatever that they do? That Those types of questions are going to show that you're oriented towards solving problems, that you're thinking about how you can add value to the, or, the organization. Asking how, you know, about vacation or compensation <laughs> for let's let's wait till we get to the point where you actually have an offer where that's a question that makes sense think about how, ask questions that orient the interviewer to understand you're trying to add value to a role on their team yeah i totally agree with that and for the audience watching listening if you have any other tips in terms of interview preparation please leave it in the comment section like and share the video and tune in next time for another question with jeremy